Four people, including a four-year-old child, were murdered inside of an Orlando home overnight. A warning, some people may find the details in this case hard to hear. The sheriff's office says all four victims were related and the shooter was the boyfriend of one of the victims. West Juice Kelsey Thord has been out at that scene all day long and was there when the sheriff gave an update on this case. Kelsey, what do we know? Well, the sheriff said the victim and the shooter lived at a house here off Myers Drive in Orange County. They say that apparently the shooter got into some sort of argument with his girlfriend last night. He was then gathering up his stuff to leave, but instead came back with a gun, shot and killed her as well as three other of her family members. You know, it's never easy to make sense of these tragedies. Orange County Sheriff John Mina gave a somber update Friday, confirming the four people killed in an overnight shooting were all members of the same family. The sheriff identifying the shooter as 23-year-old Chevelle Jones. He murdered uh, the 49-year-old matriarch of the family, um, her two daughters, uh, 28 and 29-year-old. The 29-year-old is Jones' girlfriend. And tragically, uh, he also killed the matriarch's four-year-old granddaughter by shooting her in the head. Sheriff Mina says it appears the shooting happened after Jones got into an argument with his girlfriend. At some point, Jones began to remove his belongings from the home uh, and then re-entered the home and began shooting. The sheriff says Jones shot the four victims as well as a fifth woman who was able to escape to a neighbor's house to call 911. When deputies arrived, they found the four dead victims and two other young children hiding inside. Four and six year olds were found in the home. Um, they had hid under their blankets when the shooting started and thankfully we found them unharmed. Jones was also found in the home with a self-inflicted gunshot wound to the head. The sheriff says he was taken to the hospital and underwent surgery. If he does survive, he will be charged with these murders. Now, the sheriff also said that Jones has no significant criminal history. He also said that there were no or there was no history of domestic violence at this address. Now, the sheriff's office is not identifying the four victims involved in this case. They say that is because this has been designated a mass murder scene and due to Florida law, they cannot release those identities. This, of course, remains a very active investigation. And we, of course, will give you any updates as we get them. But for now, back to you guys. <laughs>